So I saw today that the great Tony Fauci is stepping down as the director of the National Institute for Allergy and Infectious Diseases. And my opinion is he's doing it because he knows that come November, the House of Representatives is going to turn hands. It's going to be in Republican control. And Fauci knows that one of the first things they're going to do is look at him and investigate him because we all know that thousands of people died because Tony Fauci was pushing political propaganda. Yes, that's my opinion, but I also believe that millions of Americans feel the same way. He pushed his mask mandates and then admitted they didn't work. He pushed his jabs, then admitted they didn't work. You could still catch the virus even if you got the jab or the second jab or the first boost or the second boost because he himself got sick with the virus. Sleepy Joe caught it after having four or five jabs. Dr. Jill has it after having four or five jabs. It was nothing more than political propaganda being pushed by an administration that was failing the minute they stepped into the White House. They had no idea how to control this virus. And if they did, they didn't do it. All they wanted to do was shut the entire country down, something a dictator would do, and then send the American people a little bit of money to keep so they could keep their mouths closed. But that little bit of money didn't go a long way. Although some people may still have it because we all know we couldn't even go anywhere. We couldn't go to the store. We couldn't go to a restaurant. We couldn't go to a movie theater. We couldn't go to a sporting event. We couldn't go anywhere because the almighty Dr. Tony Fauci told Sleepy Joe, you need to shut down the country. And that's what Sleepy Joe did. <clears throat> Ron Klein, the chief of staff in the White House, praised Fauci for all the lives he saved, and he calls him a gem of a person. Gee, I wonder what kind of gem Dr. Fauci would be. To me, not a diamond, not even an emerald or a ruby. As far as I'm concerned, he'd probably be just a rock, a lump of coal, or maybe just some sand that's laying on a beach. He got on TV as much as he could and lied to the American people as much as he could because that's what he was getting paid for. We all know it. The government knows it. And he even knew it because he had to admit after the fact that all he said was all nonsense. Again, the masks, the jabs, the social distancing, how, how it could be contracted. If you touch something, then it wasn't that. If somebody was breathing on you, but the mask was going to stop that. And again, that was not the case. He did nothing but push political propaganda on the American people for this administration that's in Washington because they wanted to run the country like a dictatorship, like North Korea, like China, like Russia and wherever else there may be a dictator. Other people praise Tony Fauci <clears throat> for saving lives in the United States and around the world. Even Uncle Joe said it. Tony Fauci saved many, many lives in our country and across the world, and his scientific genius will certainly be missed in the U.S. government. I, for one, think that Tony Fauci did one thing in the United States and around the world. He made a shit ton of money because we all know he was one of the founders of Moderna, one of the companies that came out with the jabs. So no one's going to tell me that his pockets weren't getting fat every time they pushed out another shipment of doses to wherever they were going to send it to most likely another country because the more they sent the more money they made this was nothing more than a millionaire's way to make more money 
Bill Gates was another one involved in it. Invest millions, make millions. Let's make some vaccines because we're going to get paid handsomely for giving people something that hasn't been tested long enough to even know if it's going to work. But they did it. And millions of people took the jabs. And although it might have prevented them from being hospitalized if they came down with the virus, it did nothing to prevent them from getting the virus. But all the liberals in Washington and around the country will praise Tony Fauci for his leadership and taking control of a situation that he knew he could handle and he knew he couldn't handle because while doctors and nurses and public safety officials and anybody else that still had to work when they shut the country down, while they were working through this pandemic, Fauci might have been posing for another magazine cover or doing another cameo on a news show or giving another bullshit interview on some liberal media outlet. That's all he did. That's all he was good for. At one point, I actually saw him wearing maybe three masks. And again, I'll say it for the fourth time, he knew that that was not going to stop someone from catching the virus. So he's going to step down because he's going to move on into the next path in his career. He's like 80-something years old. He's got more money than he knows what to do with or could ever spend. So what exactly can he do now? Is he going to write a book and go on a book tour? Is he going to make two or three hundred thousand a pop to go speak at places? Most likely. But the one thing I can't wait to see is when the Congress turns red and they start investigating this fraud and hopefully start investigating his boss, Joe Biden, along with him because the American people deserve answers. And one of the questions I want answered the most is where did this thing actually come from? Was it made in a laboratory? Was it leaked from a laboratory? Or was it something that had to do with some wild animal in another country? We never really got an answer, although a lot of people tried to throw us a lot of bullshit. But like, if you're like me, you didn't believe a word of it. Because in this day and age, you cannot believe one single word that comes out of a politician's mouth if they are currently serving in Washington, D.C. So let them celebrate Tony Fauci. Let them buy him a cake and maybe a Rolex and maybe a Rolls Royce. But when he has to go under oath and testify, I'm pretty sure that the congressmen are going to rip him apart and they're going to want to see records and documents just like they've been doing since they've been trying to put Trump in prison. Their bullshit January 6th hearings are continuing. All that for nothing. While I've said this a bunch of times too, while Black Lives Matter burned down communities for two years, millions and millions of dollars in public or private property destroyed, and Congress didn't care. They could care less. All they wanted to do was bury Trump. Well, now it's our turn to bury somebody, and that person is going to be Tony Fauci. He's on the top of their list because he's the culprit of this virus that spread around this country. Because if he knew how to control it like he said he did, he did not control it. And yes, a lot of people died that most likely wouldn't have died if maybe, just maybe, he gave them another medication that should have been given, that was proven to help people who were sick with the virus. But again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I'm only telling you what, I, what I've read or what I saw online. It's all information that's out there. I'm not making it up. So look for yourself. And if you're a fan of Fauci, good for you. You can celebrate, celebrate all the money he made and the lavish life he leads. And maybe, I don't know, maybe you can run into him sometime and he'll autograph a photo for you because he's got plenty of magazine covers out there already. And I'm quite certain 
before the Congress gets a hold of him. He'll probably be on a few more magazines. But I hope that's it for him. I hope that he just decides I better go in hiding somewhere because they're coming for me. Because he belongs in prison for what he did, for the lies he told during all the hearings, and for all the lies he told to the American people, the American people that were dying of a virus that they could have been saved from if he had done the right thing instead of pushing agenda out of the Biden White House that they wanted to run our country like a dictatorship. And that's it. Keep an eye out. It's going to be good and it's going to come. The time is coming. November is not that far away. These Democrats are going to pay the price for all their trash and all their bad politics and bad policies and for their destruction of America. So pay attention because it's only going to get better. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't liked this video already, please hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You won't miss an episode. Share my videos with someone if you will. I hope everybody's healthy and safe. Wear a mask if you want. I choose not to. I'll say it for the fifth time because we know they never worked. And so did Tony Fauci. Have a great night. I'll see you soon.